Luminar export tools making sharing even easier is our topic today on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Now, the new update that we just received with Luminar Neo included an overall uh, overhaul of the export tool. And what's really cool about this is it's given me a chance to re-talk to you about Luminar Share, which is one of those great features that most people don't even realize uh, that we have. So let me just dive in. And here we are. So these were shots I took in Iceland. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is this. Well, instead of going through all the editing and all the stuff that we're going to be doing from there, I'm going to show you that once you finish editing your photos, this is extremely crucial to every one of us. Make sure you export the finished product. Now, if you're like me, especially in the very beginning, you end up like this. Look at this. I have the same image multiple times. Here we go. Look at this. I have the same image and I saved it multiple versions, version three, version four. How many versions are there? So that's a bad example where you don't want to get into that habit because then you don't know which image was your favorite. Now that we imp imp implemented the um, create a virtual copy inside Luminar Neo, that's going to alleviate a lot of the problems. But once you finish the export, or once you finish your edit, so let's say this is the edited image, I love it, I want it, I want to keep this forever. What I'm going to do is come over here to the export tools, and now watch. From here, these are the presets, the quick exports that are already here. I like saving it as a JPEG at 100% quality. If you're going to do additional edits to this image, whether you're using Photoshop or other third-party applications, save it as a TIFF so you have the, the greatest um, quality possible. Now, this uh, export at 100%, if I click on this, it'll just take it and do the export that I need. However, I'll just click on it. Here it is. It gives me where I want to export it. Well, what I want to do is this. I want to make sure I'm going to do a new export. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that this right here, the color space, this is personal preference. sRGB was by, written by Microsoft. I want the Adobe RGB. And now you're probably wondering, well, what does Pro Photo RGB does? Well, that's going to give you the widest color range. Most print labs prefer sRGB or Adobe RGB. So I'm going to leave it at Adobe RGB. Quality here, we've always been told, leave it around 80. I got to tell you, though, I leave it at 100%. Resize to actual size. Now, I can, let's say this I know is going on Facebook. Well, I may just say the long edge, and I only want this to be a 1920, and let it figure out what the short edge would be. That could be um, used for, let's say, a website or for Facebook, for social media, or whatever, it's going to be a really small version. That's entirely up to you. But if I were going to save this, which we will right now, as the finished product, we make sure that it's the original size, the actual size. And I want to make sure that the resolution stays the same. That really doesn't make a difference because the pixel count right up here, that's what determines the size and the quality of this shot. So now, where do I save it? I've been a big school fan of this, and I've told you this, I don't know how many times, we're gonna save it back in the original file it came from. So I'm gonna come over here to my D drive, and I know that this was part of my photography, and I was traveling on the road, yep, and I know it was Iceland. So, or, yep, there it is, Iceland. And now I created, right here, I created this folder called underscore complete. Underscore just brings it up to the top of the, um, the list, so I know right where it is. I'll double click, 
select. And now this is entirely up to you. I like to put my copyright symbol, my name. I leave the 49, uh, 4951. That right there is the actual number from the camera. That's my 4,951 shots within that 10,000 shots. I leave it there. Now it's up to you. You could put master or final. It's entirely up to you what you do there. I usually leave it blank because I don't want to get into that whole, you know, is this the original? Is this not the original? And so on. I just leave it as is. Select export, and then it puts it in that folder. Now, the next image comes along. Let's just say it's this one here. Export. Well, now I could just come in here, export with previous. So now I don't have to worry about setting it all back up again. So that's one option there. So this here has been redesigned to make life easier. I'm not 100%. Let's see something here. Nope. See, so I'd have to double check to make sure because I would love the fact that here we'll use my previous settings or I wish for the quick export, I can create my own. As of right now, that's not an option, but that just gives you an example why we did what we just did and say export with previous. All right. We can also send it to an email. Keep this in mind. Window users. This is strictly dependent on your Windows setup. If you're not using the Microsoft email system, you have to go into Windows, set your default to, let's say, Google, which is mine, and then when you hit email, it'll send it to the proper, um, the proper program to send it out. All right? A couple more things. Here's what I really wanted to talk about. Connect. This is Luminar Share. Now, I'm going to bring my phone online. So here's my phone. Scan. I'm going to scan the QR code. Now, what do I want to do? Well, I have to come back, export, send it to the device. Now I'm going to send it to my device. And when I did, there it is. Now it's part of my phone. Here I could share it. You know, let's send it to my sister. Boom, there, I just sent it to my sister. And now my sister has this. And we can go from there. Now, that's all great. That was going from Luminar Neo to my phone. Well, what happens if I want to go the opposite way? So this is great if I want something quick to share on uh, my phone so I could text it to somebody or um, I can email it, whatever. There it is. I got it. I didn't want to save it to my computer because we already did that. I want to save it to my phone. That's my way of getting it from Luminar Neo into my phone. Well, now what I'm going to do is let me get back to it again. This time, what we're going to do instead let me get it all set for you. I want to send the image. So I have to scan my QR code again because I let it lapse a little too long. Connect. There it is. Now, let me bring this in. Instead of sending it from my phone, or I'm sorry, from Luminar Neo to my phone, I'm going to do instead, I'm going to send of photos to Luminar Neo. I'm just going to move this off to the side only because this is a live show and just in case um, somebody sends me a text. So once I get to where I need to be, okay, here we go, good. I found an image. There, so I found an image that I want to send. Add. And that's going to send it to my Luminar Neo. Well, where, oh, let's see. One moment. There. That's what I was afraid was going to happen. So now that I sent it, right? So now that I sent that in, where is it in Luminar Neo? Well, I'm going to come in 
and I'm going to look for a folder inside Luminar Neo. And the folder is, I'm sorry, one moment. There we go. I just had it. Well, the folder should be coming in, and it would be, it would come over here and say Luminar Share. Oh, you know what? It didn't send them. That's why. So it would come in as Luminar Share. Let's see, recently added. And all those recently added. Anyhow, so somewhere I'm missing it on my end here, where it's gonna, it would say Luminar Share, and now I know that it came in from here. Let's see. Um, recently added, nope, recently edited. We just did those. All right. Sports search landscape. Well, this is interesting. So, Luminar Coffee Break. You know what? It may be in one of my extra folders. But, um, well, I'm going to give it a couple more seconds and we'll try to find it. It's not in an album. All right, so in here, it should have came in, which I can't believe I can't find it right now. Um, it, it will come in as Luminar Share. So once I get that in, or maybe it's still updating or uploading, one moment. And once it does that, then I have it inside Luminar Neo. I can continue with my editing and take it from there. So I'm going to try that one more time just because... Again, oh, you know what? Let me disconnect it. And let's see if that caused it. Um, ready? Export. I'll try one more. Connect. Maybe I didn't save it. Scan my QR code. There it is. I'm going to send photos to Luminar Neo. My favorites, there we are. Add, send to Luminar Neo, all right. So it did show it, oh, there it is. So, user error, I did not hit send. <laughs> so I apologize. See, so and when something like that happens, here it is right down here, don't immediately start to question whether or not the program crashed. Go back and just think, well, maybe I did something wrong. In this case, it was. I was doing it so fast, I didn't send, I didn't click send photos to Luminar Neo. Here's the shot of the twins. Now I can come back in. Let's do it real quick with this new feature where the auto develop is, which I absolutely love. Let it do it for me. Enhance. Look at that. And by the way, I gave them my phone to say, take behind photos of us while we're at this workshop, and this is what teenagers do. So let's turn this into a black and white, convert. Oh, I like that. That looks good. You know what, let's smooth their skin just a little bit. Come on, there we are. And one last thing, let's go to develop. Let's tone down the highlights a little bit. There we go. And I do want to enrich the black tones a little bit. Boom, beautiful. All right, so I have the image. We're all set. Well, what do we do with it? And by the way, I know this is, again, us photographers. We can't let just any little thing slide, can we? Let's get rid of this. Although this isn't the actual topic, but I'm going to show you quickly what I would do. Got a little overboard. Export. There we go, this here, restore it, there, and then erase. All right, that was a quick edit, got it. Now, what do we do with it? Well, if I wanna keep it on my hard drive, you guessed it, export with previous, where do I put this? Put it in a folder called camera phone or mobile phone complete. Now you know where all your images are. In this case, let's say I wanna send it to the twins. So I'm going to say, send to my device, because it's already connected still. Now, look at this. Here it is. 
who are we going to send it to? Well, there we go. I have it clicked here. Share. And I'm going to send it to a message. One second. Message. Who am I going to send it to? Let me make sure her name doesn't appear. Yeah, her, name, her number would appear, so I'm glad I didn't do that. All right. And sent. There. I just sent it to our good friend, Angie Birmingham, who put the Sharpshooter program together. So Angie, who's actually watching this right now, you just received it. Um, look how fast that was. Luminar Share is really cool that we can apply these, or apply beautiful edits. Now, in a few weeks, I have a special, special announcement to make that even easier. But for now, that's how we're gonna use Luminar um, desktop to send it to my phone to send it out to other people. All right. So there we have it, everyone. That's the new export feature. Why am I so excited? Because the engineers listened. They listened to you, the users that said, look, could you make that export feature much easier for me? Um, because it's just not, um, I'm not able to send it or I'm not able to export it properly, uh, or I'll rephrase, I'm not able to export it the way I want. And then they asked, how do you want to export it? They told you, or you told us, they put it in that program. All right? Now, if you don't have Luminar Neo, now is a great time to get your copy of it. Scan that QR code. If you already have a copy of Luminar Neo, still scan that QR code, and then you can get, I believe, 10% off anything on the Luminar marketplace, all right? Well,